Terence Crawford undoubtedly placed himself amongst the greatest super lightweights of the modern era on Saturday night as the Omaha man cemented his place in the WBN pound for pound top three. The 29-year-old batted Julius Indongo over three rounds to become a five-belt ruler at the 140 limit, defending his WBO, WBC and Ring Magazine titles plus adding the WBA and IBF versions to his haul. Despite calls by some to proclaim Bud as the new P4P number one, it's tough to see how Crawford can be placed above the all-conquering Andre Ward right now though. It's a flip of a coin for second place with Gennady Golovkin, but Crawford is still missing that massive name on his resume which could elevate him above the superlative SOG at one time. Ward had found it hard to stake a solid claim to being the king of boxing himself, although a victory over Sergei Kovalev put the debate beyond doubt and Crawford is still on the lookout for his own career definer. A match-up with Mikey Garcia could do just that for Crawford, although holding all the marbles at the weight still may not be enough for the Omaha man to even begin as favorite for victory against the tough Mexican-American. Hence the placing of Crawford at number 3 in the newly revised ratings, currently behind Golovkin, who stands on th verge of taking over at the summit should he be able to defeat Canelo Alvarez next month. For Crawford, a crunching body attack was enough to capture the undisputed number one spot in his weight division and he could now be ready to move up and mix it with the welterweight big boys should the Garcia fight not materialize. Fights with Jeff Horn, Keith Thurman and Errol Spence are also possible for Crawford, who looked every inch the world-class fighter he is at the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Crawford can now boast a stand at 320 CV following the victory and is certainly in the argument amongst the best fighters of the 2010s.